in the next minutes, I'm going to talk about how to customize the base app of Dynamics 365 Business Central. First of all, I want to mention, don't do this at home. So if there is any chance to do your customizations in an app or extension, I would really recommend to do this like that. But there are some cases where you really need to change the base app. And now I'm going to show you how you can do this. First of all, we need to check a few things before we can start. You need to have a local installation of Business Central. So this does not work for the cloud version of Business Central. Next, I will open the extension management. On this window, you find all the extensions that are currently installed. In my case, this is the base application and the system application. What we'll do in the next minutes is we will place this base application with our own base application. Before we can do that, we should also check some settings in the administration console. For this, I open the Dynamics 365 administration window. I go to my server instance and go to the tab development. On this tab, the settings should look like the following. Allow extension target level must be set to on-prem. Enable developer service endpoint must be checked. And also, enable loading application symbol reference it at server startup should also be checked. If you have to change that options, you need to restart the service. In my case, these options are fine and I don't need to restart my service. Next, I have to create a new folder. I have already created a folder on my desktop, which is called base app. This is just an empty folder. And then I have to find my productivity. In my case, my productivity is located here. And within my productivity, I have a folder called applications. And here I can find the base app folder. And within that base app folder, in the folder source, I have a zip file containing all the standard application AL files. And now I'm going to extract this zip file to my new created folder. So I'm choosing Extract All and my new folder, Desktop, Base App. This process may take a few minutes. And as soon as this process is finished, I can open Visual Studio Code. I open my Base App folder. And here I can find all extracted files. These are nearly 6,500 files. To work efficiently with this huge amount of files, I should set some additional settings. I open File, Preferences and Settings. On the left, I click on Extensions and AL Language Extension. First of all, I should enter the following assembly probing paths to avoid .NET error messages. Next, I should disable code analyzers. I should set Enable Code Actions to False and also Enable Code Analysis to False. Otherwise, I get too many warnings and errors. Next, I need to download the symbols. Before, I need to add an additional setting to my app.json file. To find my app.json file, I can either scroll down on the left or I press the shortcut Ctrl E and enter app, for example, for app.json. And here in this app.json file, I need to set the runtime version. In my case, the runtime version is 4.0. And now I can download the symbols. I press F1 and click on Download Symbols. Now I choose your own server. And before I can download the symbols, I need to change the authentication method here. If the authentication method is user password in your case, you can leave it like that. In my case, it is Windows. Now I can try it again. And as we can see here, our reference symbols have been downloaded. At the beginning, we find many errors here. It takes a few seconds until the system checks all the symbols. And now we can find only 967 problems in my case. Most of these problems are only warnings like fields are marked for removal. Only two are real error messages. To end this example, 
I just document this out. In a real life scenario, I need to fix that error before I can go on. So now it takes a few seconds until the system checks my changes again and these error messages will disappear. So before I can publish my new app, I need to start some scripts. I need to uninstall and unpublish my base application and all depending applications. For this, I open the PowerShell ISE. Here I have already created a script. This part of the script is downloaded from the Windows Docs page. You can find the link to that script below my video. First of all, on the top, I have to install the NAV admin tool module. I call the command let import module and the NAV admin tool is normally located under program files, Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central, 150 in my case, and service. So I call this. And next, I have to call these two functions. And now I can call uninstall and unpublish. I have to enter my server name and the name of my application. Next, I call the command let unpublish app and dependencies. And last but not least, I need to upload a development license. In my case, I have already uploaded the license, so I don't need to do that again. So now let's go back to Visual Studio Code. And now I can do my changes. I just want to do a simple change. I want to change the name field of the customer list to bold. So I open the customer list. I can find it if I press Ctrl E again and enter the wording customer. And here you can find customerlist.page.al. If I scroll down that page, I can find the name field here. And here I just add my code. And I add a comment here also, like name bold. And as soon as I have done this, I can now publish my new standard application. I press F1 and click on Publish without debugging. This also takes a while because 6,000 something AL files have to be published now. And as soon as my publishing process is finished, I can find the message here, success. The UL is not properly set up in my server configuration, so I need to load my client manually. I can do that. And if I open the customers list, I can find the name field in bold here on my customer list. So to sum this up, a few settings have to be checked. First of all, you have to check the settings in the server administration. Then you have to create an empty folder. You have to unzip the ARLs file from the product DVD to your folder. Then you open Visual Studio Code. You should check the settings for the AL probing paths and for the code analyzers. Then you have to download the symbols. You have to run a few PowerShell scripts to unpublish and uninstall the base application and all dependent applications. You have to upload a developer license and then you can do your code changes and publish your customized base app.